Hey guys, in this tutorial I'll show you well that sounds like gays. Um whatever. Okay, hey guys. Um in this tutorial I'll show you a nice push or slide transition. Um I used that in my model for a three minute age. Um if you haven't seen that the link will be in the description and on the screen, so be sure to check that out. And yeah. So let's start this. It's uh, pretty simple in After Effects, but in Sony Vegas there's just a preset for that, but it's not that complicated in After Effects. So um, I already have two clips. Um, the first thing you have to do is uh, important um, make a new layer, make a new null object. So go to layout, new null object, and you can rename that into a transition or something to keep everything organized. And then you um, pick clip the first clip and the second clip onto the transition. And uh, you have to overlap the clips a little bit. Okay, let me just disable the color correction. Um, so, the thing you want to do is... Um, so, I want this clip, uh, the second clip, to come from the right. So, I go there and drag this clip to the right. If you want, don't want to move like this, you press shift so that it like snaps. So you just drag it to the right and you can use the arrow uh, arrows on your keyboard to um, move it perfectly or you can just go to position and do it there. Um, so um, the thing you want to do now is go to your null object or transition thing now and press P for position then uh, on the frame where you want the transition to start, you keyframe the position. Um, so the first clip uh, just stays at the uh, normal position, and the second clip is at the right or at the left or at the bottom, wherever you want to uh, slide it in. So then you go forward like 15 frames. Um, so you can just hold down Shift and page down to go forward 10 frames, and then um, just go forward like another five frames, and you bring the position to the left so that this just animates so like that and you can use your arrow keys to make it perfect again or you could just um, if you're good in math you can yeah I think you could do that <coughs> but I prefer it this way so um, it's almost done now you just press U to see the keyframes again then you select those keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard. That just makes them like a bit smoother and easy ease. Like it looks uh, much better then. And another thing you should add is uh, motion blur. So create a new adjustment layer. Drag resmart motion blur onto the, um, onto your clip. And I have a motion blur tutorial on my channel already. So I will put the link in the description. So if you don't know how to use this and don't know nice settings, then be sure to check that uh, that tutorial out. Or you could just delete this, and I believe you can just enable no normal motion blur. So to do that, you just select those two things right there, uh, and then you enable motion blur for all layers. So that just adds. Uh, that's just the normal in After Effects motion blur. So if you don't have um, the recent motion blur or it doesn't work for you, uh, then you can just use that. So yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a quite nice transition. Um, so let me just preview the transition part for you. Um, be sure to like the video, please. And also, if you have any um, tutorial requests, write them in the comments because I don't get that many, and I have almost no ideas for tutorials. So let's preview this. Okay, looks pretty nice for me. Um, you can always go there and make this a bit longer, like or even faster. It's all personal preference. So, yeah, leave your tutorial requests. Also, check out my all tutorials playlist. Um, I recently uploaded like I don't know three or four new tutorials. So be sure to check that playlist out, or just go on my channel and check out my uploads. So yeah, that's it. Please like the video and bye.